Hi, my name is Jessica Uribe Navarrete. My article is Application of the SIP model in the structure of a satisfaction survey for e-learning training activities. In this presentation, we will see three parts, context, objectives and methodology, and result and conclusion. If we consider that continuous education of training is important, not only for company and organization, but also for country, we must understand that to improve productivity and working capital, it implies that must generate some effect of impact, mainly of their role. So assessing the quality of the activity comes to take a preponderant place among who deliver training. However, the accelerated use of TICs in times of pandemic has pushed generation to intensive use of the application. This has meant a change of training implementation methodologies and has forced OTEX to implement various strategies to be efficient and effective in transference knowledge to adult. The research presented in this article seek to structure a satisfaction survey carried out by the student, which allow obtain relevant information on the scope, effectiveness and evaluation of the activity to collect data within the framework of their job to improve their productivity. The SIP model will be used to focus the question that frame the complete process of the activity, that is, from sending the information until to the end of it, without considering the final test taken, according to the structure in the slides. The structuring for this research will be given by three stages. Stage 1. Preliminary design for the survey. In this stage, questions associated with the each dimension for the SIP model were designed following the process the construction of the question will carry out in accordance with the following criteria. Negative question will not be used, a simply focused item oriented question will be used so as not to confuse. Open question will be used only to collect information that could be relevant in the future but not in the purpose of the evaluation. The answer will be through a liquor scale of 5 rating. The context stage is a collection input information social and professional which will allow to compare but not evaluate. Once this stage finished and this structure was validated, the next stage is expert validation. Stage 2. Expert validation. The validation of expert is the most important part of research because although we are based of the validation model, the structure and the question must be considered. Be understood by all audience are not expert exercise orientation toward one assessment or another, to have an objective instrument that really survey to collect data for analysis and continuous improvement of the process. Stage 3. Construction of the instrument. Taking into consideration the views of the panel of experts, the instrument will be restructured for the final design to be used a pilot test. To analyze the level of satisfaction in the instrument, the SIP model was used because it represents a global and integrative evaluation approach. In addition, its in structure allows identifying the process involved. In this way, having more clarity to address the quality of training for multiple dimensions. 